Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Today I wanted to do a little something, uh, something that I probably should have done last week. So last week I was, you know, showing you all how, uh, how RetroArch on Steam worked and how that was, and sort of gave my own opinion on it. However, I didn't exactly show how to add files, either it's your ROMs or showing you how to add the cores from your standalone to RetroArch. So I wanted to make this little addition to that video. So that's something I should have done before, but I didn't do it, so I'm gonna do it now. Actually, let me quickly uh, turn on my controller. There we go. All right, now we can start this up. So first I wanna show you what it will look like. Um, actually, I can, just for the sake of this video, so I will, okay, let's go here quickly. So I'll quickly change it to full screen so it's easier for you all to see. There we go. All right, so yeah, so going back here to the main menu, as you can see, um, these, again, these are cores that I already downloaded here, but you know, this is where they will show up here. And as I said, mentioned before, you cannot install a core directly from RetroArch and Steam. Uh, you have to actually do it. So as you can see, there's something here, but I will be adding one, the SNES 9X, which is a Super Nintendo. Yes, this there's one already here, but just for the purposes of this video, I want to show you how to actually install a, a core. And so I want to show, install one that I already had that um, isn't here already. So we're going to go ahead and, that's I think it's like, like I said, it's, it's very, the layout here is different from the standalone version. All right, so that's done. So let's quickly go minimize this for a second. So you're going to, of course, have two windows up. And actually, I'm also going to show you how to like install your game. So what you'll do is in your C uh, folder, then you go to Programs, and then you'll want to go to Steam. Whoops. Then you'll go to Steam Apps. Then you'll go to Common, and scroll down until you see RetroArch. And wait there. There we go, RetroArch. And then you're going to go to, well, well, first off, we'll just do the course. So we'll have the course here. And um, for RetroArch itself, if you have the standalone version, again, this show how you, how to import them. If you don't have the standalone version, you can't do this. And of course, you already need to have like downloaded those cores. You'll go into RetroArch, uh, then you'll go to cores, and then you'll find the core you want, and you'll copy and paste it into the new course folder. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So SNES 9X is here. Right click, copy, and then just go ahead and paste it. Boom, and just like that, it's right there. And also for games, you know, also if you have your ROMs as well, um, again, you're going to go to, oh, whoops. Wait, did I do something wrong? Okay, never mind. I, I didn't do anything wrong. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna go up once. I went up twice. Uh, you'll go to downloads and something else that I thought about that I should do is to help you all um, organize everything better. So what you're going to want to do is uh, create a as many folders as you need. Um, so we're going to call this one SNES. And what basically what I'm doing is creating a folder for each kind of game. So if you have your SNES games, you'll have your... Uh, PlayStation games, you'll have your Game Boy Advance games, Genesis, whatever, you'll have a folder for each one. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do it for like all of them, but just to like help you all out and show you how it works. Uh, let's see, so that's all, whoops, oh gosh. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Sorry about that, my mouse was just like, yeah, like it's, oh gosh. I don't want to, like, I definitely don't want to run that. Okay. Uh, my mouse just, like, is not acting right, so I'm going to go ahead and try doing it from my touchpad instead. There you go, and just drag it straight into that folder. That's all you want to do. Um, let's see, at SNES, what SNES game do I have on here from before? I can't remember what SNES game I was playing. Oh, yeah, Super Mario All-Stars. That can just drop in there. Um, I'll just quickly make like one more I guess just this is just to like show you all how it works and so that way when we go back into retro arch you'll also see what I mean by that um yeah and so 
I will also, well, since I got a few of them, I'll go ahead and make one for, uh, say, Dreamcast. Granted, Dream, as I mentioned before, Dreamcast does not really work, but it is what it is. And there you go. All right, so yeah, so also again, the same procedure as before as far as the games. Um, these are games I already had in RetroArch. If you don't have RetroArch or any other emulators, you'll just have your ROM. So, well, wait, where am I going? <laughs> Sorry about that. So whether you're going into like ones that you ripped from your games, whether you ones that you know downloaded or something like that, you know, the make sure if you did download them and stuff, make sure that you unzip them. So if you have like, for example, a .gba file, uh, if you have a, what's in the case of this, like a .md, .md file, if you have an ISO, if you have a bin file, any of that, um, that's really just what you're going to want to have here. Uh, and so also, let's quickly go into the SNES one, because we're going to show, like I said, we're going to show you how to bring them in, just import them right into here, because file management is going to be important uh, for when you're, you know, playing your games and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and copy Super Metroid. Whoops. Paste that right on in there. And then that should be it. And then we can just go ahead and restart RetroArch on Steam. And give it a second, and there we go. Now, let's see. Here we go. We've got the load core. So, as you can see here, now we should have... Wait. Yeah, there we go. Right there. SNES, uh, SNES 9X, which is what we imported into Steam. And then also, through downloads, see, before we just had, like, games that were here, a list of games, now we have a folder, which will have the games inside of them. And it really is good to have your games organized and stuff, so that way, it's easier for you just to, like, go around and just find what you are looking for, especially if you have a game that has multiple, that has the similar name, even if it's on a different platform, even if you have that different extension, for example, um you might have a Spider-Man game. Like, there are cu there are quite a few games uh, just called Spider-Man. So th that really is useful to have them organized by uh, game type. So we're going to go ahead now and then, like I said, just boot that up. And because we have two SNES uh, cores, we can actually choose between which one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do SNES 9X. That's what we downloaded, so we're going to use it. Yeah, and so as you can see, it is working quite well yep oh gosh and that's one thing also um, you'll also have to remember is and I didn't even mention this in the video but I this is something that, like I had a problem with like playing the game was uh, remembering to map the button especially if you're using something like I'm using a steam controller and the a and B is reversed as opposed to you know, a Nintendo <laughs> controller. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. But yeah, and that's really about it. That's all you're going to need to know. That's all you really need to do. And actually, we don't even have to go into that anymore. But yeah, so that's really all there is to it. I hope that this helps you. I hope if there are any confusions that from the last video and stuff that I didn't touch, I hope this solves that problem uh but that will do it for today thank you very much for the, for taking the time to watch this video and i will see you all next time so until then i am zericon signing off have a good one